guys welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm going to uh, do a hairstyle that I do on my locks and I also wanted to I guess uh, address some questions that was asked on my um, other video and yes I have tried all that the uh, uh, vinegar uh, rinse and in this bottle I have uh, olive oil, rosemary uh, essential oils, and Frankenhurst, all that stuff. And I've been using it on my scalp. Once your follicles close, it's like, um, it's just not going to grow back because there's nothing to grow through. So, yeah, that, um, whatever was wrong with my head the inflammation I needed treatment and you can't really buy it with the essential oils and all that stuff I don't know I tried it all but it didn't help and then um, also I wanted to address my skin I think someone mentioned it um, I had a problem with my liver so what happened is it um, it put like a mask on my face it was worse than this but I don't know if it's going away I wear sunblock so it don't get any worse but yeah and then I had to go on a diet and lose weight to try to clear it up and so it kind of did I went on the keto diet lost like 72 pounds in six months that, that really worked for me so yeah if anybody wants any information on how I did that okay well anyway I washed my hair with the green tea shampoo and I've also put this oil on my scalp because I only can put it on my scalp because I don't want to put it on my hair because I will have a bunch of greasy hair <laughs> and on my face that would irritate me so I just put it on my scalp and then I massage it and and I use a lot of rosemary essential oil and yeah that's what I'm doing and then right now I want to put it in um, Bantu knots but only in the front and I usually massage this in my hair and I put it on my face it's really good for my face and the rosemary supposedly gives you clarity so I don't know how much of that is true but when I use it it's good for pains you rub it on say if you have a muscle ache or something it works and so I'm going to use this echo styler it's some type of coconut oil I think it's new I think it's new it's the first time I used this kind but it works just like the rest but it smells like coconut but not strong so it smells better actually so what I'm gonna do is the front I'm only gonna part it in the front might not be straight I would like to go back farther but I have to cover up that you know that spot back there so yeah and it really don't have to be you know so straight but I like when my hair is freshly done because then I can do styles not just wear it on top of my head so you see it's not that's straight but it's good enough so let me find a band keep this out the way And the reason I do like the small ones because you can treat it just like you would your regular hair. You can wear the exact same styles. 
And if the person that did your hair makes sure they get the grill or grids, I think that's what they call it, right? And then you can um, part it just like you would your own hair. And so I put this on the front. It's the Echo Styler. And I think I'll twist it. And when I wear my hair like this, some people kind of look at me crazy like, why do you have your hair in knots? Especially kids, little kids. <laughs> so. And then I'm sure everybody knows how to do Bantu knots. And you wrap it and wrap it under itself. And there you go. See it? And I have to make sure and it's the same amount on each side. Okay, I do this side. I'll do it one more time on camera. Use about that much. So I want my edges to stay. And I twist. I can see this. Gosh, I remember when my hair used to be thick. You know what happened? It's thick down here. I didn't even twist it all the way to the end. Ash. Well, it's hurt. Okay, have it really tight. See? <laughs> it looks funny, but it'll look better when I do it all. So I'll come back on camera once I finish the front. Okay, I have finished the Bantu knots, and this is how it looks so far. I did five, two, and one on top. I might have to take them down tonight, because I don't know if I can sleep on these. But, I have to go somewhere today. I get to go see my mom. I had my COVID test, and everything is clear, so now I can go see her. Or still can't hug her or anything like that so anyway I'm trying to cover up the back let's see if I covered up that spot I always have to do. Can't see. Oh, I don't think you can see anything. As long as the wind don't blow <laughs> and it's not as hot here. So the next thing that I do is I try to comb out my baby hair, but I have it so tight. Down. Hair is still damp. So when I take these down, I'll have a few curls. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm finished with the style. It's almost completely dry. And I'm ready to go. So um, this is how it looks on the side. This is how it looks in the back. Covered up the spot. 
on the other side. And this is the way it looks in the front. So, and my Bantu nuts. Okay. And it didn't take very long to do this. So, and anything that I can do with my sister locks, I used to do on my loose natural. So, that's the benefit of having these very small locks. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I will see you guys on the next video. And if you have any suggestions, just leave it in the comments. I do read them. So, yeah. Okay. I will see you guys later.